On today's episode of the Rocky Mountain Mouse, we'll talk about what's happening in the Disney parks in California and Florida. We'll take a dive in the trivia tank, and then in today's chatterbox, I'll be opening a box. Find out what that means. Got a lot more coming up, so let's move. beautiful Los Angeles Mountains. Welcome to the fourth episode of the Rocky Mountain Mouse. My name is Ray and I'm sure glad you've joined me on my journey of all things Disney parks. Hopefully you caught our last episode of Trip Planner 101. The one coming up next week will be step number two in how to plan your trip to Disney World and we'll be talking about when to choose your date. So make sure to catch that coming up. We're going to jump right into today's episode with what's happening. What's happening in the Disney parks? Disney has discontinued the use of Disney dollars. For those of you who have no idea what that is, it was a form of gift certificate that Disney would sell that was a one-to-one exchange rate and it was printed kind of like Monopoly money that you could use in the parks and other Disney locations. Uh, This has been going on for almost 30 years now. Disney abruptly made that announcement and said that they would allow the supplies to run out at both parks and it it happened very quickly because collectors now went out and bought what was remaining of the Disney dollars. If you still have some of those in your pocket, you can still use them as they will, as they don't expire, so they'll honor them going forward. But I would recommend that you hold on to them because now they're part of the collectible universe of Disney items. Also down at Disneyland, it was announced that the in Fantasyland, the Skyway Chalet is going to be taken down. For those of you who are maybe too young to remember it, um, there used to be a Skyway, a tram that went from Tomorrowland over to Fantasyland. And that was built in 1956 and taken down in 1994 for various reasons. They said it wasn't very popular anymore. Um, and also, I understood that there was an ADA compliance issue with it, and so they just discontinued the use of it. Now, it was uh, they left the stations up. The station over at Tomorrowland is still there. And they are not. There are no current plans to remove it, but the Skyway Chalet was still there, and you could see it if you knew where it was. You could see it behind some overgrowth, um, and you could see the stairway up to there. It was a fun ride. I enjoyed it. Uh, you could ride. It took you straight to the middle of the Matterhorn. Um, and once they pulled it down, they bought, they boarded up the holes in the Matterhorn and, and uh, re, re-themed it. Uh, but that is actually coming down for Star Wars Land that is going in behind it. Then down at Walt Disney World, Disney Animal Kingdom, the night experiences are going to be opening this week on the 27th of May. So uh, they've got a new show down there that uh, is going to be a night show. It's called The Jungle Book Alive with Magic. Now this is a show that's kind of temporarily standing in place of the Rivers of Light show, which has been planned for a couple of years now. Uh, Apparently they can't get that working yet, so they've put in a Jungle Book um, kind of intermediary show. And so if you want to take a look at that, you'll be able to see that in the evening. Also, the Kilimanjaro Safaris at night are will be running on May 27th, so I'm really interested to see that because I bet you there are a lot more animals out wandering around in the cooler evenings down in Florida. So that's what's happening in the Disney parks. All right, so let's talk about the um, trivia question from last episode. The question was, there is something that is still standing in the Disneyland park that was there before Walt bought the property in 1954. What and where is it? So the correct answer to this, uh, which if you watched the last trip planner, you know that Marcy M won the two trading pins for answering it and answering it correctly. It's a palm tree in Adventureland that was there uh, before Disneyland park was built. It was planted in 1896 by a rancher And when the property was sold to Disney in 1954, part of the agreement of the sale, I guess it was a gentleman's agreement, 
uh, was that Walt uh, left that tree remaining and, and Walt obliged happily. And so this palm tree sits in Adventureland between uh, the Jungle Cruise and the Indiana Jones ride. And it's there for you to see. It's a, it's a part of the Disney history. So that was the answer. Congratulations to Marcy for winning the two pins. Um, I was told <laughs> that that trivia question was a little bit difficult and that people tried to Google it and couldn't necessarily readily find the answer. So I guess I went for the jugular on the first one. The next question isn't going to be as difficult. So again, if you answer this below with, uh, and it doesn't have to be the correct answer, just answer it and you'll get put in for um, the, the trading pins. But here's the question. It's a small world is not an original Disneyland ride. Where and when did it debut? So if you know the answer, again, Google it if you don't um, and put the answer below and I'll enter you into the prize drawing for two Disney trading pins. So today on the Chatterbox, I'm going to be opening a box. Yay! This box arrived this week. I was excited to see it on my doorstep. I was glad nobody stole it while I wasn't home. Um, so it is the Disneyland memorabilia box. If you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you saw that I put a post up talking about this box. There was a limited edition of 1200. It is sold out. Um, and I decided, I, I made the post and then I went on and Although I, I don't necessarily like to throw money at stuff like this, I couldn't resist. So I went ahead and bought it and I thought it would be fun in today's Chatterbox to open it and take a look at what's inside. It's supposed to take us back to the opening day in 1955. So I'm really curious to see what's inside. It may be a waste of money, but you'll know uh, because you'll be watching me do it. So I'm going to set up the camera so that we can look at the box and then we'll go from there. Okay, we're going to give this a try. Not to try, we're just going to do it. Yeah. Kind of embarrassing that uh, I'm struggling so hard to get a stupid box open. All right, so um, I'll turn this this direction. So as, as all things that come from Disney Store, you, you get a box that's brown on the outside and boring and really exciting on the inside. So let's take a look at what's up here first. Um, 1955 Bubble Wrap, everybody. Yay! We have our little fireworks show. All right. So this is a small box, it feels like. Sorry, get that in place. Ooh, velvety. Oh, how cool. It's, um, sorry, I got this. I might have that upside down. <laughs> sorry, never done this before. Okay, so it looks like a coin, a collector's coin. And this says, uh, Disneyland Day 1, all of our dreams come true if we have the courage to pursue them. 39 millimeter bronze medallion minted to commemorate the dedication plaque at Disneyland Park. So limited 1,200 like we were talking about. So um, try to close out. I must be really weak today. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So the coin. Um, sorry. Here's the coin. It's in a plastic container. Here's the other side. So very cool. And that's really cool for me because I actually have been collecting Disney coins and I will show those to you on a future episode. Okay, then we have a larger blue box. Oh my gosh, how cool. Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> how cool everybody, I'm not gonna show you. Pulling it off of the camera. Wow, it's a, it feels like wood. Yeah, it's wooden uh, replica. I 
have to, there we go. Of the castle, Sleeping Beauty Castle, it is beautiful. Wow, that was definitely, definitely worth it. Wow, that's two great things so far. The coin in this uh, wooden replica of the castle. How exciting, I really like that. Then at the bottom, um, we have, I'm sorry, I'm uh, looking at this upside down. So we have a card that uh, states, Wednesday at 7.30, Disney comes to ABC with the TV program of the year. What's it about? We'll take a fantasy fun, uh, we'll, well, take fantasy fun, a trip to the past and into the future, and a glimpse of the nature's, <laughs> nature's secrets. Uh, so it looks like an announcement, a uh, replica of an announcement they made uh, for Disney back at the opening of Disneyland. There's the receipt. And finally at the bottom of the box. Oh, how cool. Disneyland International Press Review Preview Ticket. A Disneyland bumper sticker. July 17th. That's my sister's birthday as well. Happy birthday. Uh, Disneyland pennant. This is also a sticker. Feels like a bumper sticker. A replica of a parking pass. Uh, Walt Disney. I don't know what this. Oh, postcard. So there's a postcard of Walt himself in front of Sleeping Beauty Castle. Oddly enough, you see a lot of pictures in the, from the past. And I don't know if the color's off, but. The castle in some pictures looks white and not pink. I don't know if that was original or not. Looks like some original artwork for Sleeping Beauty Castle. Walt in front of a map, or, or it looks like concept map of Disneyland. An original picture of Sleeping Beauty Castle back in the day. Um, Visit Sunny Anaheim, the original Disney Park and Hotel sign. There we are. How cool. That's really cool. And then looks like a replica of a, <laughs> of a brochure, an original map of Disneyland. Oh my gosh. That is so stinking cool. Oh, I can't wait to sit down and really take a look at this. That's really exciting. So, there you have it. There's my box of wonders. Um, I think my favorite piece will be this one, if you couldn't tell by my reaction. The Disneyland Castle. So, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. So that was the unboxing of my Disney memorabilia pack. I hope you enjoyed it. I realized how um, awkward it is to open something on a camera while it's facing upside down. So I apologize for the confusion and the movement of all that stuff. I didn't know quite what to expect. Obviously, I was struggling with tape. Uh, I felt kind of dorky because I couldn't get the box open. Uh, but I guess you learn as you go, right? So it's really exciting. I'm excited for the coin, especially. I've been collecting uh, Disney coins, particularly opening of parks. There's a There's a gift shop or it's not really a gift shop it's more kind of a warehouse down in Orlando where they specialize in buying up things from Disney that are overruns or if Disney goes in and uh, refurbishes a ride or a hotel or anything they will buy anything that Disney's selling so they've even had old ride carts that they've sold there uh, but they'll have posters. It's amazing. It's just this big warehouse and it smells like a thrift store because it kind of is a Disney thrift store. And you go in and they just have all of this stuff, old ride stuff, old movie props. Um, and then you can just buy it from them. And one of the things they have are all overruns of old coins, commemorative coins that they've uh, minted. And so I have coins from the opening of the Tokyo Disneyland, from Hong Kong Disneyland, from California Adventure Park. Disney's Animal Kingdom I've got. Anything that they've had, I've picked up. Um, and so I actually have a coin collection going. So that was really exciting for me, but I think 
obviously the one I was the most excited about was that Disney, that wooden Disneyland uh, Sleeping Beauty castle. So I can't wait to get that on my desk at work. So thanks for uh, being part of that. Apologize it wasn't so organized, but maybe I'll do better if there is a next time. Today's Groovy Suvi is my Cars Land mug. Um, I picked this up at Cars Land in Disneyland California Adventure last time I was there. They have this group of uh, little food stands that are designed to look like the Cozy Cone Motel from the movie. And I saw this and I had to go get it. I don't even remember what was in it to begin with. Um, it holds about, I would say, 22 to maybe 32 ounces of beverage. Uh, there might have been a slush or something. I was just way more interested in the mug than I was its contents. So uh, I know now they have uh, oil cans that you can get down there that have those old, old school spouts on the front of them. So next time I'm down there, I'm gonna get me an oil can to go with my uh, street cone. Um, also, if I remember correctly, they had some really good chili that they put into a bread cone that they had made. So uh, get this to bring home and get the bread cone to put in your belly. We're going to draw for the winner of the trading pins from the comment section of the last uh, Trip Planner 101 episode. So here's the Magic Mickey hat. I'm gonna draw the name and it is Christy May Blue, number two. This gives you two more pins to the uh, two more trading pins. So you know how to get a hold of me. Um, let's get you two more pins and congratulations to you. Thanks for continuing to comment on my videos. It really means a lot. Again, if you want to be entered for two trading pins, please answer the trivia question below in the comments. I'll put you in the Mickey hat and then draw you on the next episode of Trip Planner 101. Uh, make sure to check out my website, rmmouse.com. Also like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Rocky Mountain Mouse. My Twitter handle is rmmouse1 and I'm also on Google Plus Rocky Mountain Mouse. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate you being a part of this community. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you next time.